Space weather this week has calmed down for the most part. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, we have region 3098 here in the north. It's beginning to rotate to the sun's west limb, and it's actually shown quite a bit of growth over the last day or so. It's even fired an M-class flare, but for the most part, the activity is pretty much false starts. Nonetheless, we are still watching it for, especially for radiation storms, and I'll talk about the reason why more in a minute. Meanwhile, we also have three region 3102 that's in the south. It's just rotated into view. This region is a solar storm player. It did launch some solar storms while on the sun's far side. So we're going to be paying attention to it because in about two to three days, it will be rotating into the Earth strike zone. And if it launches a solar storm, it could definitely be Earth directed. Outside of that, we have a small coronal hole that's rotating through center disk right now. Sadly, this coronal hole is not going to send us enough fast wind with the right pollution polarity to give us a big solar storm. So don't get too excited about it, but it could give us unsettled conditions here in about two to three days. But outside of that, everything that we see on the Earth-facing disk is pretty calm. Uh, we are waiting for new regions to rotate into Earth view from the sun's far side, and that's when activity will pick up. Meanwhile, we're already in radiation storm territory. We have elevated fluxes from radiation from, uh, from a far side uh, launch that caused a radiation storm that's actually managed to make its way to Earth. We're only at elevated levels right now, but it won't take much to pop us over that S1 storm level. So we're kind of watching that. Also on top of that, we have uh, elevated uh, electron fluxes in the radiation belts right now. And so satellite operators, especially in geo and in MEO orbits, are not enjoying their time right now. So we really don't need any more radiation storms at the moment. We'd like things to kind of calm down. So we're definitely watching that region very, very closely. Meanwhile, we expect that these conditions will continue over the next few days and possibly increase a little bit more simply because we have new regions that are going to be rotating into Earth view over this next week. For more details on this week's space weather, including how the fast wind from that coronal hole might affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.